What's going on YouTube? Hey, I'm sorry for not uploading a video, but look, as I promised, I'm uploading this video right now, and I'm recording it at Starbucks. Look, see, they're like, oh, little people, little people. But they don't care. They don't care about me. They're not even paying attention. Anyways, I'm going to upload a video right now, because I promised I would, and here it is, so. So this battle is between me and some other guy using a team I was just kind of experimenting with. I was like, I should make this team uh, different from my team so that you can see something different and cool, but it's not that great or whatever. And I'm still going to use it though, but so don't don't be like freak out like, oh, this isn't, isn't the same dudes, this is like different dudes. I made it to be different dudes and then cool stuff happened, so I recorded it. So deal with it. Anyways, here's the battle. Off with Infernape. He's gonna he's gonna lead off with Talon Flame. I get a fake out. That's nice. Uh, flinches. I'm thinking Pride Brave Bird. Fuck that shit. So switching to Samurai who takes it painfully, and an Acrobat is gonna kill Samurai. So he didn't really get to do anything this match. Uh, turns out I didn't need him. Anyway, Slurpuff takes a Flare Blitz, and it's just like a fuck ton. But I do know that now I can outspeed Talon Flame uh, due to past experiences. Exper wow, experiences. Uh, I go for a Calm Mind after I kill Talon Flame with a Surf. I'm thinking this Rotom Wash can't hit me with anything because it's fucking special. But it gets a pair of hacks and then die and then I die. So I was like, well shit, now this is not looking good. Uh, it goes for the Will-O-Wisp. I was like, okay. I thought I was gonna try to volt switch or something, so I go straight to substitute. Uh, it's now gonna volt switch. And I believe he's volt switches into Scrafty, yeah. So I leech seed the Scrafty and I'm just like, ha 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 ha. Now I take no burn damage. Well, I mean I do, but you know, you can go fuck yourself. Anyways, I go for the Will-O-Wisp as he goes for the Crunch, and I knew that I could take it, and then I could Will-O-Wisp afterwards, and I knew he was going to try to switch it and get rid of my, or do the Crunch to get rid of my substitute. So I switch into Mega Mawile, who can take a Crunch like a boss, and also rack up that damage from the uh, the Burn and the um, the uh, Leech Seed. He goes for a Drain Punch, trying to get some HP back. It doesn't do shit, and I play rough him, which is super effective. I don't know why he did that. Uh, I go. He goes into Smeargle, and I'm like, uh, hell no. So I go into Gorgas Super. Uh, not only can a uh, Gorgas not be not be fallen, uh, put to sleep, but he's already burned. So he goes for the Shell Smash, which I did not see coming. I thought he was gonna do some like um, some sticky webs, which is which everyone's doing. He sees that I miss, and also that I'm gonna I can't really hurt it. So he's gonna try to be greedy right here. So I go ahead and give him the leech seed because I expect a baton pass, and I'm like, you could baton pass that leech seed, son. Uh, he goes for a shell smash. I'm like, why am I? I might as well just like, like uh, get the wisp and some and some substitutes out. Why he? Why he? He's being greedy over here. Here's the thing: you can't be greedy when you're doing stuff like shell smash and swords dance because the longer that you do it, the more time you've given them to prepare for it. So, anyways, he goes into that thing, uh, Gudra. I uh, get the substitute, which means I'm protected for a turn. All of his stuff is gone, which is pretty weak. Uh, he hits me with a flamethrower that is super effective, but I do end up getting the Will-O-Wisp, which is cool. So like, I, he's just racking up damage, and he's like, man, I did not think this out. But I know I can't take hits from that, so I go straight into my Sylveon, who could probably take some hits with all that shit, because she is max HP, max special defense. So it's just racking up damage. I go for a protect here because I know it's going to stall and he's going to try to like do something stupid like sludge wave. I actually didn't see sludge wave coming. I'm really glad that I prepared for it. And then I go for the double protect. And he's probably like, well, shit, that, that completely nullified everything I was going for. He goes back into Smeargle and I'm like, oh, this shit again? Really? We're going to do this again? He tries to go for the spore again, which it didn't work. Uh, I go for a leech seed because I know he's going to try to set up his shell smash shit again. And it's just going to transfer over. I'm thinking, what can he transfer it to? He's either going to transfer it to Rotom Wash, which is fine, or Dawn Fan, which is equally fine. Which is even better, actually. So, at this point, I'm like, he can only baton pass into Rotom Wash for it to be effective. But instead, he tra he does it into Dawn Fan. And I was like, oh, that's so great. That is so great. Now, now this is just going to be horrible. He gets the Ice Shard, which is no bueno, but I hit him with a Will-O-Wisp, which pretty much, like, it's like... Sure, you you got a you got plus two attack, but it's not really gonna do much. Uh, it doesn't really hit me that hard. I just kind of shadow sneak him to get some damage off, because I'm slowly just gonna be shaving him down. He can't really touch me. I can't really touch him. 
So I switched into Infernape, and uh, I don't know why I did that, because he actually hit me with an incoming Earthquake. I, I, I could have just stayed in, but I, I guess I wanted to not waste my Gore guys. Anyways, him with a Sucker Punch to just get rid of that thing, so uh, nobody has to sit here and waste time. He goes straight into Wirotom Wash, which gets the burn on me, and I'm just like, ugh. But I play rough it. This is like 47% still, which is pretty good. Which means the Mega Mola is just a beast. He takes a Hydro Pump, and he dishes out another play rough. It's just so brutal. At this point, I know a focus or uh, a Sucker Punch will probably take him out, so he just lets it happen, I guess. Like, I, I would have seen it coming. But uh, he lets it happen. He goes into Smeargle. I'm like, this Smeargle can't do anything. He can set up his little sticky wedge, but instead goes for an explosion, and the explosion doesn't do anything. So uh, that battle is pretty cool. This is a new team I'm working on. So, yeah.